Oh, hi everyone. A little chilly outside. Glad you're here. Feeling like a little bit of chicken soup to warm myself up here. Got the can right over here. I'm gonna have to wash my hands really quick. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. I've paid my water bill, but it's really cold outside. So I'm willing to bet my pipes are frozen. Well, this is a great lesson for trailer class. Let's go take care of this right away. Well, we're in my garage right now. Uh, what we got here is our main line to the heat tape that's connected underneath my trailer. So we're gonna plug this guy right in, right there. We've already strung it out, it's already ready to go outside for us, but also, since we're pretty sure it's frozen, we brought this guy. The space heater is going to help us thaw out our, our pipes right this way. Now, as you can see, as you can see, we got uh, all my extension cord going all the way over here. Right over to one of the best things to ever have on a trailer if you have an external water valve is one of these guys right here. This is a heater box or a thermal box if you will. It's all insulated on the inside, padded so it's a little bit waterproof. It's falling apart a little bit but it still works. <clears throat> this is great. You should wear gloves when you're handling it. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Now down over here is our actual water pump. As you can see we've wrapped this up really well with a bunch of thermal tape and everything like that. Right over here is our heat tape and we've already hooked it up. And the best part about the heat tape is that when you plug it in and you see this thing glowing red, you know it's working. But still, in order to encourage this, we're going to take our little heater here and plug her in. And all in there. And you can start hearing it warm up. And then we take our box and we just put it right over so, right around it. Now, you're gonna wanna keep a close eye on this for the next five, 10 minutes. Because you don't want a fire or anything else starting right there, but that's gonna heat everything up and it's gonna thaw out our pipe. So, give us a couple minutes and we'll get right back up to you. Oh. Been about enough time, it should be thought out by now. Just unplugging everything here. Pull that heater out, make sure it's all nice and separated for everything. No fires here. Put your box back on. I have to use this board right here. Make sure it's nice and flush with the wall. All right. Now time to put the heater back. It's getting chilly. That was a long 20, 10, 15 minutes out there. I'm cold, but I think we're ready to start it up. Let's give it a whirl here. Oh, we have liftoff, everyone. Fresh running ice cold water. Ready for our soup. But unfortunately on my way back, Cousin Dave was hanging out in the garage and he had something to tell us. Let's go check it out. Well, folks, that's the end of our show today. Hope you all enjoyed it. We got a garage door reveal for you. Let's go. special New Year's edition of Trailer Class. And I hope you and yours are having a fantastic New Year. Now today we're going to go over some strange New Year's traditions that happen all over the world. Now first of all, there's a couple of countries that have breaking stuff as their New Year's tradition. For example, in Denmark, they take dishes or plates and break them against the doors of their neighbors. And the more broken plates and cutlery and things laying at the door, 
the more luck you have in the new year. Now also, in Italy, they toss furniture, that's right, old and broken furniture, out with the old, in with the new. Well, you can combine that in your local trailer park. Generally, you can find something glass laying around in somebody's yard, and you can usually find some broken piece of furniture in somebody's yard. So, what I suggest you do is go around to your trailer park, find either a glass item or a furniture item, or both if you want to give double luck, and find your local neighbor and throw stuff against their door. Then, in Japan, 108 bell rings drives away the 108 evil spirits for the new year. So, you ring their doorbell, <laughs> and if you do that 108 times to all of your neighbors in the trailer park, everybody's going to have good luck and they're going to love you. Now, as far as other interesting New Year's traditions I found out about, let's take Mexico, for example. They make sure that you wear colored underwear, depending on what you want in the new year. Red is for love and passion, things like that. White is for peace and tranquility. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I've been wearing these green underwear for about a week. And I figure that any day now, my disability payment check is going to come in. Finally, in Spain, they have a tradition of eating 12 grapes for each month of the new year. The trick is, you got to eat 12 on each chime of a bell ring. One, dong, two, dong, three, dong, one. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Well, I'm still wishing you happiness and health. And good luck in the new year. And I hope your vision is 2020. From trailer class, have a happy new year. I believe that. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> We're not even talking about the previous I thought. <laughs> well, yeah, I did. <laughs> But Definitely the previous time. It was a shithole. There was a time that I got drunk and I wanted to get a pumpkin and I just smashed them on the ground.